Hey guys, so today we're going to be carrying out a service on this Ford Fiesta. As you can see, we've got our Febby parts over there and our uh, NKG spark plugs. Um, NKG, did I say that right? NGK, I thought I said it wrong. Uh, let's crack on. So, as you can see, we've got a pollen filter, air filter, and oil filter. I've got our spark plugs. Start off by pulling the lug off. Everything's fine in there. And just twisting the spark plug out. This was torqued down, it's just really that strong, like just my fingertips. And a spark plug out. Let's put a new one in. That's a new one going in. If you don't already know, this has got like a nickel, 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 however you say it. Nickel, I think it is nickel anyway. Coating on the thread so you don't actually have to apply any anti seize. And just send it home very gently. And then go and check his tech specs and torque it down to spec. Click. Push this back in and then repeat the same process on the other three. Do it one at a time so nothing falls into the ball holes or anything like that, you don't get anything confused. They're done now. Um, something else I was always trained to do um, was to start it after each stage. So I've done the, um, the spark plugs, so now I should start the engine rather than moving on to the air filter because if I do all of it in one and then there's a running issue after, then I have to check them all. But if I do it individually, then I know, say, change the spark plugs, and then it doesn't start, then I know it's in that area, that's wrong. I think it was probably more for my trainer than it was for actual best practice, but it's just something I do. So I've done my safety checks, I've got minus 12 on the coolant, it's 2% on the brake fluid, battery's fine, we've got the top up of screen wash, coolant's fine, so I'm not gonna top that up. But I want to draw your attention to this. So this is slightly under the max here. That could actually indicate that the pads are slightly worn. So before I just go and top that up, I'm going to check the pads first, just to make sure um, we know where we are, sort of thing, you know? I know. Before I jacked it up to do that, I've got the um, air filter out and replaced that with a nice new heavy one. All you have to do is do those T30s back up. There's four of them. And then get a gap in the air and drop the oil. Now watch this, right? There's no sorcery, there's no magic tricks or anything like that. Watch, watch. I'm just gonna grab it. Just the, as I make a point as well, you can see there's no scratches or anything like out there where I've used the tool. Just, just my T-Rex hands grabbing hold of it and twisting it off. There's two reasons for that. One, I, left, I had three Weetabix before I left the house this morning. Two, I put a bit of red rubber grease on the seal before I put the fit of this filter last year, so it's a good reason to be doing it, lads. It's a good reason to be doing it. As you can see, we put a small film of red rubber grease. That's not enough to squish it into the pickups or anything like that. Uh, to this Fabi filter, or as Rock would say, it we put a small bit of grease on uh, these seals, and that's the filter on there. That's only on hand tight, which is probably going to be too tight for some people. I'm not going to name any names like RH or anything like that. And I don't know if you can see it there. This is dripping. I think that's probably our source of our brake, the reduction in brake fluid or the loss of brake fluid. The reason why it's not on maximum in the, the fluid tank because the brakes actually look fine, but we'll get the wheels off and have a proper look now. Drop the oil. And that's uh, draining out there. I'm gonna stick a new sink plug in. Some shape. Again, the sun plug is from Furby. Okay, that's actually gone up now. Um, tighten it down the spec. Go up top, top it up with oil, let it run again, like I just said, so we can see if there's any leaks uh, in the filter or the oil. Obviously, we're going to clean all this crap off as well. And then we're going to continue on with our safety checks with the exhaust, take the wheels off. You can see there's a rip on this tire on the inside here. So, yeah. so I'm going to check for playing the suspension joints and things like that. I'm just going to get it on. Then we finish up by giving the engine bay a quick wipe down using the toolbox cleaning products. These are top quality. Just look at, look, look at the shine on there. And this one here is ceramic base, so we'll keep the engine bay cleaner for longer for the customer. And the, the more expensive heck, the customer will appreciate it, you know? And there's the pollen filter going back in. Febby, obviously. So we're going to have to get the hoover out and clean all this crap up now. I've also used this new, not on the market yet, you know, trim cleaner from Toolbox Cleaning. I don't lie. It doesn't smell as good as the other stuff, but it does. Like, well, you can see where I've wiped this trim down, not that trim there, look. 
See? It does a fantastic job. I don't know what's in it. But it works works really, really well. Okay, we finished our, our blueprint. Uh, what's it called? Fecal health check. And uh, it was the pads. The pads were up and down on the front. So uh, we'll paste them. I've topped it up. Keep an eye on it. It should be fine. Uh, job's a good one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.